So what would happen if you chewed a bunch of salvia divinorum leaves right after you snorted a line of coke? Well, today we're going to find out. What's up everybody? This is Denight Dimension. My name is Kenny Denight and today I'm going to talk about what I just brought up. First of all, we got to understand what cocaine is doing in the brain. Cocaine is primarily affecting dopamine. Dopamine is a naturally occurring chemical in the body that functions as a neurotransmitter and neurohormone. It primarily affects movement control, emotions, and the pleasure and reward centers of the brain. It activates five dopamine receptors, one of which plays a major role in the motivational component of reward-motivated behavior. So now that we've understood what dopamine is, let's understand what cocaine is doing. Cocaine is a dopamine receptor agonist which means that cocaine acts by binding to the dopamine transporter, blocking the removal of dopamine from the synapse. Dopamine then accumulates in the synapse to produce an amplified signal to the receiving neurons. In the brain, co cocaine prevents the neurotransmitter dopamine from recycling, causing excessive amounts to build up between nerve cells. This flood of dopamine causes the intense high you feel after snorting cocaine, but it disrupts normal brain communication in the process. So once cocaine starts to wear off, our brain will return to its normal process of recycling dopamine, except now there's an excessive amount of dopamine produced that will take time to recover to its normal regulation. So now let's understand what salvia is doing in the brain. Salvia is a kappa opioid receptor agonist. Also, salvinorin A, the main active psychotropic molecule in salvia divinorum, binds only to the dopamine-reducing kappa opioid receptor. It does not share similarities with opioids like morphine or heroin, which increase dopamine. A K opioid agonist like salvia, on the other hand, reduces dopamine levels. So now understanding that what cocaine is doing is blocking our dopamine transporter in the brain and doesn't allow for our dopamine to properly recycle, which causes an excessive amount of dopamine to build up in the synapse, which obviously isn't good <laughs> because once the cocaine wears off, we feel less than. But the salvia divinorum is going in and affecting dopamine by reducing dopamine production. So if there was a reduction of dopamine, as you're chewing your salvia leaves, right after you snorted that line of coke, your dopamine transporter, which has been blocked by the cocaine, will now have no overflow of dopamine. There will be no excessive amount of dopamine produced because salvia divinorum is reducing the production of dopamine. So now I want to go and tell a story about the time that this has happened to me. I actually was at a party with my friends. We were all smoking and drinking and then they brought out the cocaine and we started doing cocaine and I personally do not like these uppers because I'm a hyper person normally. I'm a very energetic human being without anything, without even coffee. I mean, I enjoy coffee, but so we were there and we all did the coke and everything and for some reason I had this instinct thinking to to just chew some salvia leaves. I had it in my bag, I took out a pinch, probably a gram or two, and just started chewing on the leaves, and I could see behind my eyelids, almost as if the dopamine production was just slowing down. And there was no overflow, there was no excess because of this. This is only a very broad example of using salvia divinorum, and because of the dopamine interaction with cocaine, I thought this would be a good example to compare the two and to offer some neurochemistry information about what's actually happening. All in all, what could this mean? Salvia divinorum is obviously my main interest, my main attention, not doing cocaine. I don't endorse or encourage anyone to do cocaine. I don't, it's, it's probably, uh, one of the worst drugs to be honest it doesn't last very long and it you just have to keep using it my main point is salvia divinorum is doing some incredible things in our brain and whether you can see this lower of production of dopamine as no big deal i look at it as a regulation of dopamine as a regulation of our reward motivated receptors in our brain a regulation of our own goals and aspirations I feel like I put a lot on my plate sometimes that I want to achieve a lot. Even with these YouTube videos right now, I don't want to wear my glasses because of the glare. I can't figure out how to fix this glare and it drives me crazy, you know, these aspirations that we have. We just want to make things perfect and I've done salvia divinorum before 
and it lowers that reward motivated behavior for maybe an opportunity to see more clearly and to be able to appreciate the art and the creation of whatever it is we're doing instead of being caught up in this reward motiv motivated behavior of just seeing the final project um, instead we should be more included in the process in the moment to moment development of ourselves I think this could be a powerful tool let me know what you guys think in the comments if you've ever experienced this before leave a like subscribe I want to hear from you guys I want to talk to the world thank you so much for watching peace